arrested several protesters outside San Francisco's Federal Office of Immigration and Customs Enforcement. KTV's Alyssa Harrington live outside the ACE, the uh, ICE headquarters where city crews are getting ready to reopen that street. It's been blocked for a full week. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning. That's right. Part of Washington Street is still closed in front of the ICE headquarters. And you can see a few police officers gathered on the street corner. We've also seen city crews out here cleaning up the encampment. I just saw a dump truck drive away full of tables, chairs, and garbage bags with items from that encampment. Police cracked down on protesters overnight. Watch this. Turn around! What? Turn around! Several protesters were arrested, although police will not say exactly how many. Police were seen in riot gear warning demonstrators to leave. They dismantled the camp and loaded up garbage trucks. A spokesperson with SFPD says the city has strict rules about camping on public sidewalks. She said the camp shut down a busy intersection preventing traffic and emergency vehicles from getting through. Frequent admonishments have been given to the participants at this encampment over the last week and prior to tonight's action but the blockage of the street continued. The closure of this block has also prevented the passage of traffic and emergency vehicles through this corridor. Activists camped out outside of ICE as part of a nationwide protest against border detentions and the Trump administration's zero tolerance policy that has seen families get separated. They even held a block ICE block party on the 4th of July here in the city. Several hundred attended. Now back here you can see street sweepers coming through and barricades on the sidewalk. The camp has been shut down. Ice protesters are upset. They have been tweeting all morning and said that some people did get hurt in the overnight raid. Live in San Francisco, Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Time is 5.03. Well, the ACLU predicts the Trump administration will miss tomorrow's deadline to reunite young children with their parents.